Good morning. Happy Saturday. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Today is going to be a scorcher in Minnesota. So we have um, really high temperatures today. The heat is coming. It's coming strong. They're predicting like a heat index. It's supposed to be in like the 90s and then humid and a heat index of like 105 to 110. So it's going to be really toasty one. Um, and we have a wedding all day today. We have, it's my husband's stepbrother's daughter that's getting married today. So we have to be um, they're early for pictures because we're doing big family pictures today, and then we have the ceremony, and then we have the reception, and we'll be dancing our shoes off, and the kids are coming, so we'll be carrying the kids and carrying the baby, and I am going to be a sweaty, hot mess. I might as well just, it's going to be like, I'm just going to be a wet rag all day. <laughs> it's going to be really hot and really sticky. So I wanted to um, use my concealer as a foundation today because Lime Life Vial Cones Concealer is waterproof and it's super pigmented so it does all the goods that the foundation does but it's going to hold up even more to the sweat today. So typically um, I use my primer and my setting spray with my foundation anyways and that really does a fantastic job of holding my makeup in place all day. But in addition to that, I'm going to just use more of the concealer versus the foundation to really keep my stuff in place. So um, first base primer, I'm just going to spray a couple of squirts of that and kind of let that dry a little bit. The stuff is like magical, the primer and the setting spray when you put them together. Um, I mean, anything will hold up in any conditions. Hey, Jaren. Yeah, that's my Cabo board back there. I'm so close to um, another couple of check marks off of that board. Um, we'll see how the month ends here, so I'm excited. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay. So that's dry. Um, right now I'm kind of in between for a foundation, olive one and olive two. Um, I have um, some scars that I typically try to cover up. I get a little purple tired mom eye under my eye. So usually I use concealer three for those areas. Well, concealer three is very matchy to my skin tone as an olive one and olive two. So really what I'm going to do today is use my buffer brush. Um, typically I use this diffuser brush, which is a little bit bigger. Um, it's very like a stipple brush is what I think some people refer to these as. Um, but this one's bigger. I get a little more area to cover, but for today's tutorial, I wanted to use the buffer brush just so that I can show you um, a little bit in smaller areas on how it all blends together. Um, the blender full is also a really great option as a tool to use to apply your foundation and your concealer. So today I'm just going to lightly dab into my olive two, and then I'm really going to go into um, olive three. So I'm going to use this olive three right here. And I'm going to use more of that. And then I'm just going to kind of work it in. So you can already see how well that really covers up some of my redness that I have. And look at how great it takes that down. So this is really going to hold up in the sweat and in the heat today. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> I just can't. Of, of course, like the hottest day is the day that we have a wedding. I mean, I am super pumped for this wedding and they're going to be, they're just a great couple. Um, she's going to look phenomenal today, but um, it's going to be, it's going to be sticky. And I'm glad that I have the tools to really help hold that up. So, as you can see, just on that half face, I pretty much did for my eyebrow, down my nose, on this side here, really makes a difference. Right? Crazy, the coverage. I know, Jaren, my acne is so much better than it was, um, gosh, you know, just a year and a half ago. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. But the scars that left behind 
were so bad and that has made a huge difference and 100% that is because of one drop wonder in addition to the dream clean because that kind of shuts down that melanin production so it doesn't enhance those scars even more it makes a huge difference um, no the wedding is not kid free I'm super actually really excited that the kids get to go because um, they have never been to a wedding and they are stoked they are so pumped so again all of two with my brush and then I really went a little heavier with the concealer versus the um, foundation because I want more of the waterproof effect to help hold everything up. The girls are so excited to see a bride today. They are more pumped to dance on the dance floor like so pumped to dance look at that you guys that just like that little bit just boom covers that right up um so when grandma and grandpa were over the other day they were practicing the hokey pokey they were practicing the chicken dance they were really going to town it was fantastic So again, foundation concealer mix blends right nicely in to my neck. I usually kind of tend to carry it down just a little bit too over my jawline. Not much though because it's pretty pretty spot on with my with my skin tone down into my chest. Yeah? Yeah. Um, and then what I'll do is my eye makeup after that, and then I go back in and put concealer zero in a, a few areas to really highlight, to really highlight my face. Um, those areas that, you know, you just want to bring out a little bit, um, and then I'll use a bronzer to do a little contouring. So a little contour here, maybe even along the side of my nose. And then I'll use the zero to really kind of pull out under my eyes, um, maybe the tip of my nose, my chin. You know, if we're doing pictures, then I'm gonna gonna actually like go all out on my makeup today. Yeah, I love weddings; they're so fun. So yeah, look at that, you guys! Isn't that great? I love it. So if you would like me to color match you um, with a foundation, I can help you with that. I highly recommend for the summer um, or any special events that you also get the primer and the finishing spray um, along with the two concealers. So if you do a foundation and two concealer palette, you save a little bit of money and then you have options to really cover up any imperfections that you want to or use more concealer for your foundation for the day and really battle that um, the heat and the humidity because it's waterproof. You can go swimming, it's gonna hold up. You can sweat, it's gonna hold up. Um, it's a pretty great option. Um, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then use the finishing spray after that. So I'm gonna do the highlight, the contour, my eyeshadows, my brows, and use the finishing spray before I do my eyeliner and my mascara. So if y'all have any questions about that, get in my inbox, let me know. I'm your girl. I'll hook you up. I'll talk to you later. Bye.